Our next question, I'm going to answer it first because you never answer. Uh, you never ask me questions, so I'm going to ask this one uh, and answer it. But then you you're going to ask question. yourself the question. Yeah. Why don't you tell me the question and then I'll ask you. What's no, the question? Now, um, the hardest thing about running a sales marketing process like this, Kenji, what what would you say the hardest thing about running a sales marketing process like this? I don't is? want to answer that. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's it's the nose. Like for me, it's the it's, it's, it's the math side of it where you get a lot of people who don't respond. You get, you get some people who are just pissed, who get angry, who are like, how dare you reach out to me? You know, and that is an uncomfortable place for most people. It's particularly uncomfortable for accountants. I think it's just a, you know, we're used to being the trusted advisor and you're used to being kind of reserved, right. And conservative. So being a bit aggressive and getting people to kind of slap you down and say, no, go away. Like, don't, how dare you show up in my inbox? How dare you leave me a voicemail, right? Is, um, is something I think that is hard. I, it gets, I will say this, it gets easier, a lot easier, but I think initially it just is, it's, it is a little bit gut-wrenching. And I think people have to kind of understand that. So I think that's difficult. What, what about you? What do you think is difficult about most difficult about this process i mean this would be a personal thing i'm not a micromanager right and so if you have somebody running sales and marketing they need to really be a numbers person a b testing what's working what's not working making more frequent changes um i think our sales and marketing team could really benefit from somebody like that kind of looking at the 50,000 foot view and keeping a, an eye on the numbers, how marketing interacts with sales um, more beneficially. So that's the most challenging part to me. It's very analytical and I'm very much a gut feel kind of manager <laughs> rather than um, like, I don't enjoy pulling up a dashboard every day and seeing what's going on. And I think that's what's really required in a in a really efficient sales organization. 